I hope you're well rested. I hope you traveled safe and you are ready to tackle the year. Personally, it's taken me a lot longer than I thought it was going to take me to get it together and eventually be excited for the year. But we're going to do what we're going to do. I hope you guys are excited to continue this journey with me. Thank you so much again for your support in 2023 and 2024 we have new goals, new year, new me, who this, period. <laughs> I thought let me come and open this vlog so that I can get used to vlogging again, let's start there and also mentally know that we are doing this. I want to give you guys a vlog on Sunday, I miss you all so much, I miss the comment section so much, there's no way we're not going to have a vlog this Sunday. Um, my nails need to be done so we're doing that and also my pedicure and also what else I need to do my lashes but I only got an appointment for end of the month so I'm probably gonna look crazy this entire vlog and maybe the next one as well and I was planning to take my braids down because Sana they have given up on me I've had them for a month now so I need to take them now, down. 
oh, I wanted to, I'm trying to get onto a routine. So I'm forcing myself to go to gym, meal prep, and buy healthy groceries. But first, before we go buy these groceries, that's what we're doing, by the way, today. Before we do that, I wanna empty my cupboards, see what I still have, toss what needs to be tossed, and then we're gonna get it together. Anyway, I do hope you guys enjoyed this vloggy vlog. I miss you guys so much. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and share the content with your friends and let's shitty chat in the comment section. I'm gonna do better when it comes to replying to my comments this year. I'm making it a goal. And also, we have a new mic. Let me know what you guys think of the sound. I'm probably not gonna use the mic for vlogs. I Maybe I'll get like a shotgun mic i think that's what they call it but i'm trying to test this one out for sit downs because i also that's another goal of mine this year just to connect with you a bit more do more sit downs mix up my content that type of vibe but anyway let's clear up these cupboards toss what needs to be tossed and then we go to we're gonna go to bullies and probably pick and pay or checkers sana my Protein shakes, they expired. This one expired 31st of August last year, and this is still an entire tub. I used to enjoy this when I was still doing keto, this milkshake. It's high in fat and protein and no sugar whatsoever. It has MCT oil, it has no sugar, and it's sweetened with stevia. This is delicious, but that's also expired. My pre-workout is also expired, how sad. I like this pre-workout because it doesn't make my skin itch. cool. it does, but it's bearable. This one expired as well in September. And then this collagen creamer, I haven't used it in like two years. I should probably toss it but for now I use this one and I actually really enjoy this one so this year I've decided to rather purchase a digital planner this is my first year giving digital planners a chance and I'm using this one that was recommended by Alia's face I'll also link Alia's video in the description box down below because I actually quite enjoyed it and I ended up purchasing this planner and I'm enjoying it. So it's on good note. The reason why I like this planner is because so you can plan your year, you can plan your quarters like each quarter of the year like January to March. April to June, July to September, October to December. So you can plan quarterly. Instead of having yearly goals, you can also have quarterly goals, and then you can have weekly goals, and then you can have daily vlog, <laughs> not vlogs, daily goals. I think breaking it down like that is helpful to me because yearly goals have been a bit, they overwhelm me a little bit because it's just this big goal and it helps me to break it down a little bit another thing that i've been enjoying two things you can journal daily and it helps because i'm not a person who knows how to journal honestly i haven't I, i'm really not a person who knows how to journal but since i've gotten this planner like somehow i'm the babe that journals now i sound like i'm selling this planner but anyway, what I'm trying to say is if you have an option, look into digital planners as well. If not, the planner that I used last year from Boss Plus One, I enjoyed it. Like I really, 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 really enjoyed that planner. One of my favorites I've ever used and I actually used it. Um, I'm just trying this one out this year. So this is to give you a little nudge just to also get your planner, if you are a planning person, get your planner together. But anyway, 
the reason why I'm rambling, I wanted to show you guys that you can also, another thing that I really like about this specific one is that you can also plan your meals um, each day. You can plan your meals each day and then you can have your grocery list. So I'm trying to be in my meal prepping era. This year, if I can get something right, the one thing I want to get right this year is my eating. And I've realized over the years, the times where I've managed to successfully lose weight, to successfully be in shape and be healthy and all those things is when I meal prep. Because one thing about me, I'm a lazy babe to some extent when it comes to cooking. I can't cook every day. Like, I really can't. I'm going to end up getting a takeout and all those things that we don't want to do. So, this year, I really, really... Jesus, please. I really want to be on my Zoom when it comes to meal prepping. And this is literally just a table with each day and what you're planning on cooking that day. And then you can do your grocery list. So I just want to go through my grocery list and see the things that I already have and tick them. And then we can go to the shops and buy the things that I don't have. A few moments later. I'm so upset because why did I forget my camera at home? I legit forgot my camera. I realized when I was inside the shop. And I didn't even forget my wee bags. Anyway. Okay, this is my new year, new me grocery haul but also i'm doing a little bit of a fast so more vegetables let's start here um yeah i got these for a smoothie so i'm trying this summer fruit one for the first time actually but it has pineapples and mangoes and raspberries and then i also got the blueberry one and then I got these. These were, you save 10 rand if you buy two. So I got these grapes. Are these seedless? Yes, they're also seedless. Got some watermelon. And these ones I will put in my oats. And those ones I'll put in my smoothie. Then I got some avocados and some lemons and then got some kidney beans i want to make like a chili like a vegan chili situation i got some chickpeas and this is tomato more chickpeas i'm actually missing another type of beans but it's fine. Got some tomato paste and some tea. And then I got some sweet potato. We'll see what I'll make with this. I'll, I'll make this in an air fryer. It's gonna be delicious. So it's nailed. Them. And then I got some peppers, carrots. I'll add these carrots in my chili as well. And this um, mushrooms, pumpkin, and some oats. And then I got some salad stuff. I got wild rocket, butter lettuce, spinach. I'm gonna make some green juice with this as well. And cucumber, tomatoes, some feta, quinoa, bananas. I also got some chicken for Upodmieni. I'll also get beef and stuff from Checkers app for him. But that is what we got. That is what we got. And this cost me a thousand with my receipt. But it was 1,500 that I swiped. That's what I got. Let me pack these away. And then tomorrow I want to go get some meal prep containers and we'll meal prep but tomorrow today I'm done I'm done
were closed last week. Hey guys, hey y'all, hey y'all. It's the next day. Another day, another dollar. Do we still say that in 2024? But it's the next day. I just came back from getting my nails done. My back to work nails. I'll show you guys properly when I get home. I'm quickly going to, while well, I'm at Sable Square now, Chinatown. Because I'm looking for containers for my meal prep. I saw on Kay Arms' vlog when she was here that there was a place that was selling containers. What is this Kitchen Republic story here? Oh, come on. How am I going to find it? I'm looking for a place that sells glass containers because when I meal prep I don't like my storing my food in plastic containers so I don't know what's that Kitchen Republic thing so definitely not the plastic mania place because we are not looking for plastic What is that Kitchen Republic? I should have gone there. Is this guy coming out? He is. And I don't understand people who just leave. Ilanduka. Trolleys in the parking lots. But anyway. Let's go look for this place. If I find it, I'll tell you guys exactly where it is. So that Ningala Sheik. and unfortunately they're going to look crazy for this entire vlog and maybe next week's vlog as well if you know how to remove lashes without that thing let me know because I think it's better if I remove them now I think it's better if I remove them now because I have an appointment on the 30th of January we still have a couple of weeks before that but anyway i wanted to, to show you what we eventually got at chinatown very expensive yeah very very expensive but if you're interested it's shop number a34 it's shop number a34 Oh, this was my lunch <laughs> when I went to do my my nails because I did my pedicure and my manicure. Oh, I didn't show you guys. I didn't show my mani. I did my favorite favorite nude ever. I feel like this is so girly, so feminine. I like the set, but I did that, and I also did 
my pedicure as well and a scrub feel great about that I got my I packed myself some lunch while I was out because that's one thing I'm realizing with me my downfall especially if I don't have breakfast because I'm not a person who usually eats breakfast but if I'm out for too long I'm gonna end up being so hungry and then I'm gonna end up eating whatever going to a drive-thru so I packed some strawberry uh, not strawberries <laughs> I packed some grapes banana and the cashew nuts but anyway on to what we got I got this strainer I realized that I'm a big girl but I've never owned a strainer ever in my life don't ask me how I rinse my my rice and my pasta but the girl has a strainer now and then what we actually went to thingy Chinatown for what was these bamboo um, bamboo jars guys these were expensive they were expensive so I got two different ones I got the big one the big one was a hundred and twenty rand This was 120 and then this one was 90 rand. I feel like that's still expensive, but I like that they are square instead of the round ones. Because I feel like you can put them side by side without occupying more space. I don't know if that's my overly analytical brain that thinks these ones are better than the round ones in terms of like storage but yeah I got these ones and then I got these ones and I remember thinking to myself these are expensive and while I was in the line I kept googling where else can I get them for cheaper because 120 for one mm -hmm. So I ended up getting three. I returned some while I was in the till because I was like, there's no way. I ended up paying 490. That's a lot of money. In January for jars. And then I remembered that Pep Home actually has these. And Usiba reminded me when I visited her the other day that Pep Home has these jars so I went to Pep home and guys 64 rand 64 rand for one and this is literally the same size except this one is round literally half the price same size well same height the contents that go inside are probably not going to be the same size but this is literally half the price of this one this one i got it from pep home and this one i got it from chinatown so it's safe to say i will not be going to chinatown again for storage stuff because it's not as cheap as you might think it is and i saw also cape quarter has i also wanted the, the smaller ones. I want to try meal prep in those smaller ones. There's this girl I absolutely love on TikTok who likes to meal prep and use these jars when she meal preps. I might start doing that. But in the meantime, I also got containers for meal prepping. So at Pip Home, I only got one, two. I got this one as well. This one was 50. 55 rand same size same size as this one for 90 rand i wish i had gone to pep before i went to chinatown but i also like this square shape situation going on here and also even though i want my pantry i.e my cupboards <laughs> to like look nice and uniform and organized but I like the difference in like 
shapes. It's the same vibe, but different shapes. Sometimes just to add a little ha ha. Anyway, that's all I've got from Pip. I also got some toothbrushes. It never hurts to have extra toothbrushes. And then I want to check. Ooh. I also went to checkers because I was looking for containers for meal prepping. Like I said, I'm about to be on my Zoom when it comes to meal prepping. And when I was visiting Usiba, she had these containers. I was like, let me go to checkers. I remember how much I like checkers for glassware and containers sometimes, if you're lucky. But today I think I was lucky, but these are also expensive. One was 100 rand. 100 rand for one container. And Yazi yeah, from the out of touch, but I feel like that's a lot of money for a freaking container. But I like these containers. I have a few. Well, maybe I used to have them. I like these containers that like you can seal properly, like so when you meal prep. Wait. That. And then like that. See? I like these containers for that. Unlike these ones that I have here. Because I feel like I don't know, sure. I like these ones. They call them bake and lock. I'm guessing your freshly baked goods would last nicely here as well but i'm gonna use it for my meal prepping and i also like glassware for my food because like when i store let's say my stew in a plastic container it is going to make your plastic container stain and i don't know if i'm like a bit finicky about the, that type of stuff but i prefer this Glassware, easy to clean and it stores really well. So I got three of these ones. The same size, I feel like this is a nice size. This is a 1.8 liter and it goes for 100 Rand at Checkers. I also got another size this one this one is a uh, 900 mil and this one was I think 80 rand I could be wrong I don't know where my receipt is now but I also got this one this one I feel like would be nice to even take to work I'm definitely going to use this one. Hey man, you got it guys. Hey bro, so as a girl on better than my I can get a lot of money. Oh, there you go. There you go, it was me. So I feel like this one is even nice to take to work with and this glass looks durable <laughs> but that's what i got now i need to wash these containers and then begin with my meal prepping with that and threatening our meal prep so let's get to it
sweet potatoes I made these in the air fryer mashed um, pumpkin this is just mushrooms and onion I also made these in the air fryer these are chickpeas coated them in some paprika black pepper and garlic powder and then I roasted them in the air fryer and then this is just some carrots making some quinoa it's almost done and then i'll make some basmati rice that is my meal prep for the next two hopefully three days and then we'll cook again on friday today's a tuesday i don't think i said that and tomorrow i'm going back to work that's why i had to i had to meal prep so yeah my place like the 
Put you through the lock, we in our own zone Make yourself at home, get to know mine on the inside We can meet at yours next my braids off and I got these wig lines I'll probably install a wig tomorrow I want you for now let's go home. I'm still not over the fact that I look like a boy if I was a boy I would look like this
love it when I look like a glazed donut but I just took off my sheet mask it's been um, what is this 20 minutes now and I like to this step is absolutely unnecessary but I like to add a tad bit of a hyaluronic acid just to make sure that was a vitamin C mask by the way and it goes well with the hyaluronic acid and I like to just make sure that I am drenched in serums and so now it's giving glazed donut period then we obviously have to sleep with uh, moisturizer and I don't know about you but absolutely love this Neutrogena Hydro Boost um, this one is a water gel one I like to use this one specifically in summer because I like the fact that it's lightweight and it smells so good how pretty is that and they just changed the packaging for this but i've been using this moisturizer for so long and i still absolutely absolutely love it period and then the trusted the goat the goat mtase some eight hour cream We are ready to go to bed and i'm gonna end off this vlog here because i want to get it out tomorrow morning 7 a.m <laughs> i want to say thank you so much for watching this vlog i'm still getting back into it if i'm a little bit all over the place i'm still trying to get used to vlogging again but i do want to say thank you so much for all your support in the previous vlog I don't deserve you guys I do not deserve you thank you so so much and all the super thanks I was shocked <laughs> I was so shocked when I saw all the super thanks because I don't usually get that many super thanks but from that vlog I was just like oh my god and I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all the comments and obviously the sort of thanks they much welcomed especially because I find myself in this situation that I didn't anticipate that I would be in so that was much 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 appreciated um, I don't know how to thank you guys but to give you the content that you deserve so please let me know in the comment section down below what you would like to see in this channel in our channel <laughs> in this year just give me some ideas what type of content you'd like to see and obviously the vlogs are here to stay forever <laughs> we'll always have vlogs but let me know if you'd like to see maybe something different and i'll try and i'll do my best I am looking forward to the year. It's taking me so long to get to this point where I am more excited for the year and I am hopeful and I am expectant. And I hope the same for you. I hope this year is better. I hope this year brings all, all the desires of your heart. Big goals, big goals for the year. But thank you so much for watching. Please, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much and take good care of yourself. Bye. I'm about telling my business. No time for stress over potion. You think success is an option. I'm trying to get the shit popping like, ooh, big moves. My rule.